What's going on guys? Derek Southern Salonk here. Been out for five, six days. I had some oral surgery. It's kind of still swollen, but not bad. Uh, today I'm going to tell you which one I think is better out of a stand on or a sit down. I'm going to tell you the differences, my opinions. Uh, this mower, this season has close to 80 hours on it. I have a 36 over there, which has you know close to 70 hours this year. I've got 92 on the 92.4 on the deer so I have been using it uh, you know enough to give you my opinion if you notice this is on the back of the trailer which probably means I use this one the most uh, I do have a grass flap on there I must have I've got a shoot block on that as well if you don't have a shoot block these days man I, I don't know what you're doing but uh, anyway I'm gonna start making some videos. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos y'all wanna see. Y'all wanna see mowing videos? Uh, I've got plenty of footage with that bad boy. I gotta get it out. Um, mowing videos, just let me know what y'all wanna see. Um, tip videos, it doesn't really matter. But I need to start getting y'all some content out and I'm gonna start, you know, probably once a week, definitely. But uh, the difference is this is so easy on your back. Uh, I actually just cut my yard with the Gravely, because I was changing blades uh, this Memorial Day, I had to change the blades and everything. And, you know, I love this mower. I'm not gonna bash on it just because I got a new mower. I will not get rid of this mower. Uh, reason being, I've always thought, you know, what if you have a stander and you break your foot or something, step in a hole, then you gotta sit down. But uh, I use this primarily on the larger properties when we run two mowers i pretty much ride this one all the time now uh, the cut quality on this john deere is superior to this one uh, i did put skag high lifts on here but this one has skag high lifts too uh, you can watch previous videos i've adjusted the baffles changed blades went through 20 different sets of blades um, i think my buddy at florida turf pros has a 52 inch gravely and i don't think he's you know 100 pleased with the cut quality either and you know that's one thing i've always not liked about this mower it's a tank yes it cuts pretty good uh it's about an eight out of ten cut where this is going to be more nine closer to ten um this thing is just i mean with dull blades this thing will tabletop a yard clean uh, can't really see on this video but there are i can see some little stragglers and stuff the gravely to me just Leaves too many stragglers, so this is basically what I call my finishing mower. This will do the job, but if you want to be, you know, if you have a super picky customer, this is what you're going to want to use, uh, the John Deere over the Gravely. And this does have the, it's a John Deere, but it's pretty much a right. Um, so like an Aero Core style deck. I didn't go with right because I don't have a dealer close. But, you know, which one do I think is better? It's really personal preference. They're both good. Uh, if you have bad knees or ankles, I would suggest don't get a stander. If you have a bad back, I would suggest don't get a sit down. Uh, they both have pros and cons. If you're going to be, you know, people say if you're riding for hours or whatnot, you know, you probably want to sit down. But I found it. I've not had any back issues since I bought this. Uh, the past two years with this, you know, I get home and I'm a pretty in shape guy. I was having lower back problems. I really was having pain. This has solved that issue uh like i said almost 100 hours on this machine so i have had i wanted to get enough stand up time to make sure the only issue i had swapping to this was it does gives you a pretty good little calf workout for about the first 20 hours that you ride a stander after that you can't even tell you've been mowing all day uh very quick very efficient when you have to get off to get trash i notice i pick up a lot more stuff dog toys and stuff like that with this mower where with this, you know, sometimes I didn't want to get off because you got to pull the parking brake, stand up, all that fun stuff. So, in my opinion, if I could choose one of these mowers, this is a 52, this is a 48. Uh, telling you guys, if y'all don't do any two acre plus, I even cut a two acre property with this over the 52. Um, and it's not that much difference on the cut. Um, uh, I don't know. I would... I mean, I would definitely go with a stander just for the comfortability on my back. Um, it's so short, man, you can get in some tight spots with this thing, a lot less weed eating. Um, 
But then again, I do love my sit down. I'll probably never get rid of this. I'll probably always have this combo, uh, you know, a sit down and a stander. Like I said, mess up and break your ankle or throw your knee out. Probably not gonna wanna ride this on one leg. Uh, so that is my opinion on which one's better. I think they're both good. Like I said, I'm not gonna bash this mower just because this one's newer and vice versa. But if I had to choose, I would choose this mower um, over the sit down just because of how quick and nimble it is. Once you get used to a stand on, it's almost like you're dancing on the yard. I know it sounds funny, but you know, just leaning into turns and all, it's just so nice. Uh, now the downfall of this is, you know, Gravely has the foot pedal, but you stand behind the wheels. This, I can drive with one hand and, you know, feather the deck with this if needed. But I have found that these wheels, they ride about right here, so close to the deck, that roots and stuff that I used to scalp with this, they don't hit because these are basically big anti-scalp wheels because they ride right there. But uh, anyway, that's it guys. If I had to choose one, I would choose the stand on. Doesn't really matter what brand. Uh, the John Deere is awesome. I need to do a full review of that mower, but that's for another video. Um, but yeah, that's it. Let me know what y'all want to see. I usually carry a 36 on here sometimes. I think I have to put it on for tomorrow. Just sharpen all my blades. I have went all steel, um, so I took the Echo off, and then I have this new puppy. Doesn't look new, but it's only like a week old. It's a Red Max. This is the BCZ 2060 TS. It's the torque model because it's just easier when you take the string off to get the torque model. This thing is bad. It's uh, My 94R is in the shop. I had to get a new clutch put on, but that's after two years of abuse but um this thing is bad to the bone that's for another video too but uh like subscribe comment let me know what you want to see I'm not going to edit this too much just kind of letting you guys know what i think peace